What's up, you guys? Slouch Boss here, and doing a very special review of the new Cobra Island Barbecue G.I. Joe figure. G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Island Barbecue, to be exact. Okay, so remember last year, um, I did a review of Destro. And the articulation was kind of kind of drawing me off. But this is one of the figures I have been wanting because I absolutely enjoyed the figure as a kid. And I remember he used to smell like barbecue. I don't know if I still have the 3 by 75 inch figure, but this is the brand new um, open look of this figure. So I'm just very excited to see all the accessories and, and all the different things. And this figure um, is probably be super hard to get. It's a Target exclusive. And other than that, let's take a look at the packaging and then we're crack him open and see what's all, what he's all about. Okay. So on the sides, gender G.I. Joe classified series, got a picture of barbecue, similar to the black series line. Uh, it says G.I. Joe classified series, little code, a little dented on top. It says Cobra Island, my first Cobra Island figure. I've been wanting a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff for a while, and yeah, probably put my trigger on a Cobra Island figure. This is um, the Cobra Island, probably where he's from, for classified links, the Glees. Um, we have a beautiful side art of barbecue there, and it says Gabriel Barbecue Kelly, and nothing else on the bottom, but other than that, let's crack this thing open. Boom, I took him out from the bottom, and now we're here. So, uh, this is barbecue out of the packaging. Um, this is all the different accessories he comes with, and then it's the figure itself. So, okay, like usual, let's take a look at the accessories, and then I take a closer look at Gabriel Barbecue Kelly. Barbecue comes with a plethora of different abilities, no, not abilities, different uh, tools and gadgets like this axe sword thing. Looking really cool. I love the sculpt with like these brass knuckles. I think they're brass knuckles, right? Like a bandolier type of material. Super, super cool. Yeah, super cool. Same thing on the other side. Love the silver paint job on these tools. Looking really cool. And then he comes with a little axe. It comes with a little heat gun or something. I'm not sure what they call this, like a heat gun, a flame gun. I'm not sure what you call it. I know it's some type of gun, which is interesting there. Solid black. I don't know if it's been used in other figures. It's new to me, so I've never really seen a sculpt like that. And then we also get a big old uh, pickaxe or fireman's axe. I think it's a firefighter, right? Uh, it is a silver side, black paint job. He he has he has some little sculpting right there in detail. I want that just a standard axe. And then it comes with a bendy wire, which you can plug in here, which I'm going to do here in a second. That attaches to the backpack. But also the backpack uh, is really cool because I actually got this warning, uh, warning there, like lethal. Um, you can keep it out of the sun, yada, yada, yada. Some really cool. Uh, little uh, paint jobs there. I don't, I've never seen Hasbro ever like pay close attention to something like this before. Looking really cool. Good job, Hasbro. And then on the back, just a standard um, back piece, which is really cool. Got a little lining of the grill plating. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, before buying this, this figure does not smell like barbecue, like the original 3 by 75 inch figure. Okay, so now let's take a look at the head sculpt. This is a really cool mask. I just love how it looks like almost like a ski mask. But it's not a ski mask at the same time. It just looks really cool. I love the silver. Almost like a ski goggle sculpt right there. Absolutely enjoy the sculpting here. <clears throat> wow. Just look at this. It looks so cool. Um, there is also a little cool headpiece. Uh, his headpiece looks okay. It's a really cool mask. It's got some breathing material. Awesome job by Hasbro there. They got some shoulder pads. Just like kind of soft material. Soft rubber material right here. And then we have uh, the uh, chest breather piece, which is really cool. Almost like a grill to material. Got some green right there, which is really cool. That's really a really good job of sculpting this body. Then obviously bright orange. It brings a lot of contrast and color to your shelf. If you collect a lot of like Star Wars figures or Marvel Legends. But uh, he has some, he has some like, almost battle damage on the sculpt over here. I think same thing on this side. A little wear and tear from the, how how much he's been on fire and all sorts of things. It's looking really cool there. And then on the other side, you got a little gear piece, almost like a metal tattoo. Not metal tattoo, but a gear piece, which is really cool. A lot of ingenuity. On the figure, you got some elbow pads. Nothing much on here besides his uh, holster. And then he has a little 
meant a piece for the axe, knee pads, and then on the boots, nothing much. Also, I didn't mention this, he also has sculpting right here on the figure, which is really cool. I've never seen that as well. This figure has a lot of really cool detail. Um, uh, it's one of my favorite pieces by Hasbro lately, because there's so much like detail on the figure that you're never expecting to have. And yeah, this figure is really Okay, cool. y'all, I know what time this is. This is for the articulation of barbecue. And then we're gonna load them all up with this backpack. So let's begin. So he has single jointed elbows, which is really surprising me. I thought he had double jointed elbows because uh, he could have double jointed, right? I don't know. I think he has single jointed elbows there. Uh, his arms move up this much. I like the range on that. Diaphragm joint, you know, move forward, move up. Uh, waist swivel, waist swivel. Had to look up about this much. Had to look down. Had to look side to side. And then his legs move up this much. Beautiful range. I know he's double joint knees, right? I don't know. Yep, double joint knees. Double joint knees, people. Just gotta be careful because there's a lot of uh, softer material, and you don't want to damage it. So you really take it slow. You can't really put him in too much dynamic poses, but he does have it. That range because he's pieces right here you don't want to break. So you want to pose the legs. You don't want to like damage. What it. I'm thinking you should just take it slow. And take all the pieces uh, by time. So yeah, looking really cool. He his ankles move down, move up. Uh, he doesn't really have beautiful ankles. He has beautiful ankles. Pivot, pivot. Yeah. So there's barbecue. Okay, this figure is moving around too much. It's like this. He's not like leaning like this. I don't know if something's wrong with the waist, but yeah. So this this is what barbecue looks like loaded up. Uh, it, obviously you import this little back piece right here. Uh, with on his backpack, his little hose. It looks really cool like this, to be honest. Um, yeah, just a super cool action figure. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I think it's like a little top heavy right here. Or something's wrong with like the legs or something. Because like, his whole torso joint is kind of like weird. It's like really top heavy and wonky. Huh. But, if you don't mess around with it too much, I think you get an excellent figure. It looks like in the back. Cause if you import this piece right here, and you kind of... Uh, guide it up to the hose right here to have his almost his oxygen or water tank. I'm not really sure what it is, but yeah, super cool. Here's barbecue all posed up into a really cool pose. And the thing I like about the new waist thing, I know how it's like flopping around, but it actually makes really cool use for photography and also posing around the figure. Just look at it, it looks really cool. Um, now I'm gonna do some size comparisons with a uh, barbecue and then give you my final verdict. Obviously, I'm gonna size compare some with Tech from Star Wars The Black Series. Yes, this looks sick. Okay, so yeah, it looks really cool side by side. They both have a lot of things in common, so it's like kind of contrasted it. So yeah, looking cool. Okay, at the end of the day, how do I feel about Barbecue? Well, he does an absolutely awesome figure. I just love the whole sculpt and what Hasbro did to make this figure awesome. Hasbro literally just killed it, and you just, I just see it from their capability of sculpting a really good action figure. And the G.I. Joe Classified series is a line of my story be collecting. And Barbecue just looks super cool. And, I don't know, I think it's just a really cool figure. Some gripes I have, uh, obviously, like sometimes, you know, the elbows can really get me. But I'm a little disappointed that his thing kind of tilts like that. It's like waist kind of tilts, which is weird, but also makes really good photography. But other than that, this figure... It's awesome. I don't know if I should heat it up. I'm not really sure. Leave in the comments what you guys think about this figure. This thing is awesome. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. Amazing uh, Hasbro figures. Might be a, a contender for action figure of the year, in my opinion. Very cool uh, sculpting. And if you, have, if you have a target near you, look for him. Um, I think it's widely available. I don't know. But keep cross your fingers and hopefully you find this figure. This is an amazing action figure. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.